I am in 4.5 cams in motion and I'm going to be specifically focusing on the eccentric cam in this video. One thing to pay close attention to is the nominal diameter that you chose within your group. Your dimensions may not be the exact same as mine. It depends on what number you chose within your group. After you've chosen a number, you can click on the cam dimension drawings and then you can look at the eccentric cam to determine some sizes. Now, this group kind of lucked out. You only have to worry about three dimensions. The hole right here, which is a diameter of 3 16 And then you got to look at these two dimensions. Anywhere you see a D, you need to take a look over here. That D equals the nominal diameter of the cam. So wherever you see a D, you're going to plug in your number. So for example, the diameter of this big circle would be whatever your number is. Or the location of this hole, which is directly straight down from the center of that circle, is 0.25 times your nominal diameter. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to start with this big circle, which is just the same diameter as my number. So in Inventor, I'm going to go New, English, Standard Inch, IPT, Create. And the first thing I'm going to do is a Save As. And you are going to navigate to your student folder. And in there, you should have already made a 4.5 cams in motion folder. And you are going to save this as the name of the cam. Whoops. File, save as, which is E two C's, centric cam. And mine is going to be specifically for the one that has a 1.5 um, nominal diameter. So that's why I'm adding that to my name. So once I've saved it, I'm going to do a start new 2D sketch on the front plane, XY. And I'm going to start with a circle. And I'm going to snap to the 0, 0. And this is going to be whatever your nominal diameter is that you chose, which is D. So for this example, I'm going to do 1.5. If you got 1.5, you lucked out, you're sticking with me. If not, you're typing in your number. So I'm going to hit Escape to get out of the Circle tool. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and draw another circle somewhere down here. Now the key part is that you are snapping to this Y-axis. So I just want to click somewhere along this Y-axis just as long as you're snapping to it, doesn't matter exactly where along the axis. So left click once, move your mouse, and just left click again. Hit escape to get out of the tool. So we need to um, turn this thing purple to make it fully constrained. And we're going to do that through a few um, different dimensions and uh, possibly a constraint here. So the first thing I need to do is let's give it a size dimension. The size of that is going to be 3 16 diameter. So I'm going to go Dimension Tool, click on my circle, and type in 3 slash 16 and hit Enter on the keyboard. So now it has a size, but now I need to locate it. So while I'm in the Dimension Tool, I'm going to click the center here at 0, 0, and the center here to locate that hole. Now to figure out that one, we need to take our nominal diameter and times it by a quarter. Now mine was, so I'm going to do 0.25 times, now you're plugging in your number here. For my example I'm doing 1.5. So that gives me 0.375. So that distance for me is going to be 0.375 and I'm going to hit enter. So we gave it a size and a location in this direction but you need to give it a location in this direction because I could technically if I hit escape I could still kind of move this thing around. So to fully constrain it, I need to align this center with this center. And we're going to do that through a vertical constraint. So I'm going to click on vertical, and then I'm going to click the center of this circle, and I'm going to vertically align it to this one. So I'm going to left click this one. So two clicks. So again, I did a vertical constraint. I left click the center here, and I left click the center here. Now my sketch is fully constrained. It's all purple. I'm going to hit Escape to get out of the Vertical Constraint tool, and I'm going to hit Finish Sketch. You can either hit E on the keyboard, or you can click Extrude. 
Now it's not recognizing what it wants to extrude or what you want to extrude, so you need to click the profile. So I'm going to left click that. I'm going to change the direction. I'm going to go the other way. And if you remember from the drawing, it has a three six or it's three sixteenths inch thick. So I'm going to type in three slash sixteen. And I'm going to say OK. And there is my eccentric cam. I'm going to save. And you are all done.